What is going on, everyone? My name is Jordan Anderson. Welcome to this very special tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over the slide checkout for Webflow. So if you have a Webflow site, we're going to show you how to add slide checkout. But before we dive into that, let's go over some really awesome stats about this thing. Over the last few weeks, we've been running tests on this slide checkout, comparing it against Embed, comparing it against Express, comparing it against our own standard checkout that we normally use. And the stats that I'm about to read here are pretty astounding. One stat I have here is this slide checkout has been able to lower our ad cost from $93 per customer down to $31 per customer. That basically means you can acquire three times as many customers with the same ad spend. We're currently using this for Course Creation Challenge, and we've tested it on multiple variations of the Course Creation Challenge page. And every single time, slide checkout is the winner as the Lowest ad cost, has the highest conversion rates. It's awesome. Let's show you guys how to put this on your website. So if you're on Webflow, I need to make sure that you have three pages open at all times. The first page that I need you to have open here is this documentation page. We're gonna link down below. So have this page open. It's got all the code, it's got all the steps. Uh, and actually we can do this whole thing in three simple steps. The code looks intimidating. I know I'm, like, I'm not a coder myself, but I was able to get through this and I wanna show you guys exactly how to do this step by step. So again, you're going to have the documentation page open, you're going to have your web flow page open for your specific sales page. And then you also need to have your Sam cart page open for the specific product that you want to add slide checkout to. So let's go to step number one here, we're going to hit the copy button. And then we're going to go over to our web flow page, we're going to hit that page button icon here. And the sales mastermind, that's going to be the page and we're gonna hit those triple cogs right there and scroll down until you see custom code and then the head section, the head tag section, and we're gonna paste that code in there. Then we're gonna go back to our page here and click on copy for this one. And this one is gonna go in the before the body tag section. So we're gonna go back here and you see right there for body tag section, paste that right there. And then I'm gonna click save. So far so good. Now let's move on to step two. So step two, we need to add a button class to our buttons. This is the CSS class if you're uh, for the advanced users out there. All right, so we're gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back to my Webflow page and I've already got my button right here, the get tickets to mastermind. So I'm gonna click that, go over to Webflow's class settings over here, the style selectors. And then I'm, I've already typed in WBTN, because I was testing this out before, but you would name it your button W-BTN, and then you hit enter, and then now that specific button has that style tag attached to it. And go in here, go to your button, make sure it's not linking to anything or open new tab, or there's no links or it's not linking to a page. Uh, we want this to be kind of a, a blank button, so to speak. Now we'll move on to step number three. We're moving along. So we're gonna add this embed element. This is, this is the slide basically the slide checkout uh, HTML right here. So this is gonna go actually on the page, our sales page. So we're gonna copy that. And if you notice down here, this says your embed code here. We're gonna s remember that, we're gonna use that in kind of the next step over at, on our SAM card page. But let's go down, let's add an element. Let's go to HTML, scroll down, scroll down, there it is. So we're gonna grab the HTML and we want to add it to the very bottom of your page. So, you know, make sure it's not inside your footer, make sure it's, you know, not just, you kind of want it just hanging out all by itself at the very bottom. Don't want it kind of self-contained in your footer. And then we're going to put that triple gear right there. And then we're gonna paste that right there. And again, remember that embed code right there. Now we're gonna go over to our SAM card products. So click your SAM card page tab. And, you know, just double check that you have the right product that's using. This is the sales mastermind for $2,500. You're going to go to the checkout anywhere tab, and then you're going to go to embed. You're going to click copy embed code right there. And then let's go back to our web flow page and right where it says your embed code, take that and delete it. Backspace, cut, whatever you want to do. And then we're going to paste in that code. Looks good. No spaces, no errors. And then also if you check here, I kind of want to add a coupon code. So in that section there, let's add a coupon code. 
because you can do like kind of auto discounting, which is really nice. So we're going to go down to our coupon sections on our Sam card page, make sure coupons are turned on. And I'm just going to use this code right here. This is 50 off or 50% off, but you can create your own coupon if you want to. And let's go back to our Webflow page. We're going to go here and then in between those quotation marks, add your coupon code. I'm going to click save, close. Okay. Everything looks good. I'm going to hit publish. Let's see if it works. And there we go. You click the button and we've got the auto discount baked in the coupon code 50 off. We can do a Stripe link. We can add some order bumps here, you know, delete some order bumps. You can, you know, customize your order however you want. You've got credit card. We've got a firm, Afterpay, Klarna. You know, you can start in a firm right there and do it, break it up into a payment plan if you wanted to. Now, let's say you want to add a second button. So let's go back to our documents page and you go to this section right here. And what we have to do is we have to add a new button class, so WBTN2, and then we have to add this line of script here to our before body tag on the page setting. So first, let's uh, take that script. We're going to copy it. We're going to go back to Webflow. We're going to go to our pages at the top left, find our sales mastermind page, scroll down to our, not the header, but the before the body. Going to create a new line there, paste it in, clean it up, make sure there's no spaces. And then we're going to save that. And if you notice too, this is where it says WBTN2. Now we have to go and add our button class for our second button, WBTN. Save and close. And let's, I've got an cont empty container here. So let's go down. Let's add a button. Okay. So we've got our button here and let's name it, paste it there, WBTN2. Make sure there's no. Make sure there's no links, open new tab. It's not linked to anything. Again, it's kind of an empty button. And let's rename this. Let's say buy tickets now. And, you know, maybe I'll kind of want to change some of the spacing here a little bit because it is a different button. I kind of want to give it a different look. Uh, and let's make the font size 20 pixels. Why not? Okay. So that is our second button right there. Kind of like it. Looks pretty good. Let's go to the top and let's publish this page and let's see what we got. Okay, so we're looking at our page here. The first button works, good. Second button, let's see if it worked. Bam, worked. And the discount's right there, ready to go. Pretty good, and if I want to add a third button, I could go and do that whole process again, just with WBT3, BTN3, and add a, a third line of script. And that is it. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial, hopefully, you followed along again, go back. If you need to watch this again, pause it, you know, go step by step and also make sure you have that documentation page open. We're going to include all the links down below. So you're not going to get lost. All the resources are going to be there. If you're a SAM card user, add this into your checkout operating system. It is going to change the game for you. And if you're not a SAM card customer and you just wanted to watch this tutorial just to check out what slide checkout was all about, there should be a button down below to start a trial, or you can go to samcart.com and you can test this feature out for yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Jordan Anderson. We'll see you on the next one.